Hi, welcome to Wake Up Woman. I hope that you are ready to conquer the feeling of overwhelmed to awesome. So I hope that you have had the opportunity to look at our very first blog post that's titled How to Go from Overwhelmed to Awesome Part 1. And in that, I shared a story about a really good family friend of mine, and we called her Carrie in the story. And Carrie um, is a person that is a fixture in my life in such a way that I'm, I'm not in contact with her at all anymore, but she is in my mind often. Um, at the time when she was in my life, I was in middle school. Yeah, I mean, I was at the point of starting to think about family, but I wasn't there yet. And now, sitting at 38 years old, I look back at that and I I think about her in the times when my life starts to get really stressed out and really overwhelming. And when I have that feeling of, I can't let anybody into my house right now because what are they going to think about me? Or I start to judge myself because of the condition of my surroundings or I start feeling overwhelmed because there's just so much going on. There's so many places to go. There's so much to do. The to-do list is never going to get finished. The toilets need scrubbing and the floors need vacuuming. You know what I'm talking about. So during those times, I think about her. I try to force myself to think about her. And I get this little voice in my head that says, just don't worry about it. Just let it go. And I think about her home and how I felt in her home, even though it may not have been the tidiest or the straightest, and there may have been piles here and piles there. I felt loved and warmed and welcomed and free to be who I was in a space where her family was free to be who they were. And they didn't make any apologies about it. And in those moments, I give myself permission to not apologize for the place that I'm at. When when I'm at the place where my house is, is destroyed because we just came back from a vacation or because we're just busy running around or maybe it's be, um, I missed a doctor's appointment. It happens, it didn't get written down and you miss it the next thing you know you're getting the phone call. You missed your doctor's appointment today. Um, and instead of beating myself up about it, I give my permission, permission to be Carrie. And that is so freeing to me. And I gave you guys some questions to ponder and think about this week. And I just wanted to touch base on those really quickly. And, and one of those, it asked you about the feeling that you wanted to accomplish over the next couple of weeks. It wasn't really, the question was not about you, what you wanted to do, an actual like uh, itemized list. It was about what do you want to feel? What do you want to experience? What do you want your family and the people around you to experience? And for me, that's, I don't want to live in the place where I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. I want myself to feel peaceful and whole and happy and joyful. And so many people I know, including myself, often use words like overwhelmed, anxious, full of anxiety, um, burning the candle at both ends, their plates too full. Um, and it's really discouraging. And I think that we are created to be an experience so much more than that. So when I ask you about what you wanna feel and experience in the next week, this is what I want. I want my family to feel like I have space for them, that I'm not so worried about everything else that's on the plate that I forget about them, and that I'm so stressed out that I start snapping and getting stimped because that's what I do. And maybe you react to it different. Maybe you shut down. Maybe you eat more. Maybe you eat less. Maybe um, you just got to like get out of the picture for a while. Um, but for me, I get snippy and I get really short because I'm frustrated and aggravated mostly with myself and I take it out on the people that I love the most. And the other part of that question was like, um, when you, when you look back over time, what are the times when you felt the most at peace 
and when life was just kind of rolling and it was all working really well and and smooth and examine that and then the flip side of it was tell me about the time where you were the most stressed out and I hope that you guys took some time to really reflect on that because going into next week, we're going to be talking about some real practical tools and, and, and those actual three steps of going from overwhelmed to awesome. And I'm just going to throw out some things to you that work for me and hope that you can find a way to apply them to your own life. It's going to be simple. It's going to be cut and dry. There's not going to be anything elaborate or there's not a, you know, $239 program to buy in order to accomplish this. It's, it's really easy things that you probably already have at home. Um, it's just reorganizing them and thinking about them in a way that will work for you. So I hope that you enjoyed our very first week, our very first blog post from Wake Up Woman and that you're ready for next week. And there will also be a video that corresponds with that. And I can't wait to hear your feedback. Can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. And hopefully my heart's desire is that whatever Wake Up Woman, that's me, is sharing with you, Wake Up Woman, is that it is bringing you to a place where you can get real and love more because that's the goal. We just want to be able to love with our whole hearts and our whole self and operate from a place where we are full enough inside that we are giving the world the very best version of ourselves. So stay tuned and we'll see you next week.